Hello and welcome back to The Wargamer and another Rune Wars tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can paint the reanimate archers. In my previous video I showed you how to paint the scheme which is present in the official artwork. However this time I'm going to be showing you how you can quickly paint your reanimates in a scheme which is reminiscent of the white from Game of Thrones and I'll be using the Army Painter range of paints to do so. Before we can begin painting our miniature, we first of all need to prime it, and I've used the Leather Brown Spray Primer from the Army Painter. And this is great because it has two advantages. First of all, it means that we don't have to paint the leather brown areas ourselves with a normal brush. It also means the other brown colors I'll be applying to this miniature will go on a lot easier. Basically, it saves time and makes our jobs easier later on. With our miniature primed, the first step in painting our miniature is to paint the bone colored areas. And for this, I'm going to be using Banshee Brown. Now with all the base layers in this tutorial, I would recommend creating a mixture of one part paint to one part water, applying it over the areas you need it to do, allowing it to dry thoroughly, and then applying at least one more layer over the top. This will give us a really nice, smooth, and consistent base coat to build up from in later steps without obscuring the details too much. With the bone colored areas completed, we can now tackle the leather straps that dot this miniature. And for this, I'm going to be using dark stone, as this will serve as a nice contrast against the lighter browns we'll be using elsewhere. The next step in painting our skeleton is to tackle some of the cloth areas. This includes the quiver, a section of cloth around the midriff, and also the wooden shaft of the arrow as well. The next area we're going to be tackling will be the wooden areas. This includes the bow on this miniature, but if you're painting the other reanimates, you could also paint the shield in the same color. And the paint that I'll be using for the step is oak brown. So now that we have most of the base coats completed, the next step is to wash over the entirety of the miniature using strong tone ink. This wash will flow into those recesses and really help to bring out the detailing in these areas, as well as darkening down the colors ever so slightly as well. Once the Strong Tone ink wash has been allowed to thoroughly dry, the next step is to paint the glowing blue eyes of the white. Now for this we want to start off with a base coat of Trogdolite Blue. And we're painting the eyes and also the eye sockets with this as well to give us that glowing effect. Continuing with the glowing eyes, we now want to apply a small dot of Void Shield Blue to the very centre of the eye. And this will complete the glowing effect that we're trying to achieve here. With the eyes completed, we can now begin work on the metallic areas of the miniature. And for this, we want to start off with a base coat of gun metal. Now remember when using metallics, not to overspill onto the other areas of the miniature as it can be quite difficult to paint over your metallic paints. Now at the moment, the metallics are looking very clean and pristine. We want to give them an effect that they're aged and rusty. So I'm going to be using a wash of mid-brown over all the metallic areas we painted in the previous step. Now this final step is an optional one, but if you want to create the effect that your reanimate archer has risen from the frozen tundra and is covered in frost and snow, you can use some a spaceship exterior on a small sponge, and I'll just be dabbing this lightly across the lower areas of the miniature. This will give the effect that snow is clinging to the cold cloth. And here we have the finished reanimate archer, complete with a snowy base. Now as you can probably tell, this tutorial was geared up to be very quick and easy to reproduce across a large amount of miniatures. So whilst the scheme won't win any prizes, you'll be able to get your miniatures from the box and on the gaming table in no time at all. Now if you enjoyed this quicker style of tutorial, please do let me know in the comments below what you thought. And if you have any other suggestions for other tutorials I could do in the future, please do let me know as well. Do be sure to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my future content. And if you want to see what projects I'm currently working on, you can check out both my Facebook and Instagram pages, which you can find links to in the description below. Now I'd like to finish off by saying a huge thank you to my supporters on Patreon. You guys make these videos possible. And if you're interested in supporting me as well, you can do so by checking out the Patreon link in the description below and donating to me from as little as a dollar a month, which would just really help me in producing my future content. And so all that's left to say is thanks for watching and goodbye.